So it's prom season here in Benton, Arkansas, and we're getting ready to put together a nosegay, which is a basically like a small bridal bouquet um, that lots of the um, girls going to prom are interested in carrying these days. So I'm gonna put one together. It will be all white roses with just some greenery and a little bit of filler uh, just to soften the edges and then we'll wrap it with some beautiful um, ribbon and lace. And these are the supplies that I'm using today. I have a pair of scissors, a couple different types of tape. I have some corsage pins and some smaller pins for securing. Um, these are going to be my notions. Um, I've got a sheer ribbon, um, some lace, and then this will be for the under layer to secure everything and attach it to. And these are the flowers that I'm using in greens. I have some beautiful um, salal that's fresh from our citrus trees. Um, I have some greens that I found. Um, there's lots of beautiful pear trees uh, flowering right now. So I found some of these. So there's a little bit of wild crafting involved and then of course our white roses. So I'm going to begin with the roses and the first thing you're going to want to do is clean your stems. Um, if you have any leaves that you see that you think would be beautiful to leave in place that's okay. Just bear in mind that the leaves are going to drink up water before it gets to the actual rose. I'm also going to pull out the petals, if there are guard petals, right around. If anything doesn't look perfectly white, I'm going to remove that as well. And then it's a personal preference, but sometimes I'll even trim the excess on the bottom of my rose. Just to keep everything really clean. And you can see what that rose looks like compared to this rose, which hasn't been cleaned yet. This would also be the time to clean off any <clears throat> thorns that are on your stem. And the reason for that, of course, is because someone's gonna be holding that. You don't want them to get pinched. Um, typically the red roses I find are the ones that come with the thorns, but the other colors oftentimes come uh, cleaned. So to start with, my spiral is gonna look something like this. And then I'm gonna fill in with some of the other things. And once I've layered in the greens, this is what it's looking like. And I've secured in two places just because of the different lengths on my stems. I've secured with the three pearl buttons. And then once we're at this stage where it's secured with the decorative wrap, it's time to cut. And I just kind of look at where I want this to be. She'll be holding it there, so just maybe another inch or so of stems. And then for the final step, I'm going to I have some ice cold water um, so that it doesn't make the lace wet, but keeps the stems nice and submerged in cool water until she needs to use it tonight. Felicidade